Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and I want to talk about the Umbrella Academy season three because I I already knew. I don't know why everybody was shocked, but I already knew. And this that shit that is pissing me and others off. Y'all keep forcing this damn LGBT shit down people's throats, and you keep taking classic characters from these stories and changing things to accommodate other people who never cared about the series, who aren't part of the series of the, of the creation of these books and, and, you know, literature things. And you expect people to be like, yeah, this is a great idea. So as you know, Elliot, um, uh, Ellen Page, former, I mean, no, Elliot Page, formerly known as Ellen Page, um, was a lesbian, now is a transgender man, came out as transgender, and plays um, a female character on um, Umbrella Academy. So basically, now they announced that Ellen Page Umbrella Academy character to come out as a transgender in season three as Victor Har Harveen's. Um, so Ellen, Ellen Page, uh, Elliot Page character um, in the Umbrella Academy in season three will come come out as transgender um and elliot page said announced that um on her netflix and previously the woman via harvings um vina Har harvings in season one and two page characters whose superpower involves unleashing a force through the use of sound will transition in the upcoming third season which debuts on june 22nd page character will now be known as victor harvings and will use the he him his pronouns and page first announced the news tweeting the first look at victor along with the cavitation meet victor harvings um netflix share tweet welcome to the family and we're happy you're here yeah, y'all might be happy that that bitch is here, but people of the uh, the fans of of the Darren uh, of the character, cause see, this is Vanya. We're talking about Vanya. We're not talking about Victor. Why the fuck did you even do that? Because everybody said you should have recast her dumb ass. If she wanted to come out as transgender, okay, cool. But guess what? You lost the fucking privileges to be the, to play the character. Your ass should have been recast. Why the hell do y'all do dumb shit like this? That's the shit that people get tired of. Y'all do dumb, intentional shit and then be confused that people get upset or people don't want to deal with it. It's stupid what the hell you're doing. It really is. It's ignorant, it's dumb, and it shows how, how this whole entire society is kind of fucked up in the head. You know? If she, if, if Elliot is transitioning... Okay, understand that your character is still a female. Your character is a female. That means your character, her, her, her character, Vanya, should have never went through that because Vanya is a main character in Umbrella Academy and Vanya is a damn female. A biological female that ain't never transitioned. Congratulations, that's what um, Elliot Page wanted to do. That's on him. But, to make the character transition because the actor, the former actress decided to want to become an actor now should not affect the damn story. That's not how this shit works. And that's that's the thing that people get tired of. People get tired of when you sexuality swap characters. Y'all got to learn that there's a, t you can't keep doing that. You can't keep doing that just like you can't keep doing LGBT, um, diversity, inclusion, all that nonsense or taking characters that are classically white and make them black. This shit does not work. It does not sell. It just infuriates people who've been reading this shit. Because think about it. I get tired of people talking about it doesn't matter. No, it does damn matter. Because if our asses wasn't reading these goddamn books... The real fans, if they weren't reading these goddamn books, if they weren't supporting these goddamn oh ass books, y'all asses want to have IP to make into a damn show. I don't even understand why the hell this shit was even allowed. The characters should have been recast. That's where you recast them. That's the consequences of your actions. Just like 
when a male transition to a female and think your ass gonna do female sports. No, that is a, that's a choice you made. Understand the choices you make. There come consequences. The consequences is guess what? You lost your opportunity to compete in sports. Sorry, sorry. You lost the position to do professional biological sports. They're just like Elliot Page should have lost the job of Vanya. That you're putting your personal bullshit on a fictional character that has nothing to do. That's not what that's not what Vanya was originally created to be. I'm sorry. We not play we not playing that old Yoki Do or talking about transgender people. Ain't nobody saying that y'all don't exist. I'm so sick of everybody always talking about you trying to say that they don't exist. Oh, they I know they exist. Hell, Hollywood reminds me every goddamn day they exist. But what I'm saying is the character Vanya is not damn transgender. She is a biological female. If Elliot Page felt so strongly about being a man, guess what? You lost that job. Or you should have waited for your transitioning until after the series is finished. Because you added your personal bullshit on a character that already was complex and nuanced, but didn't need that extra added shit. I'm sorry. Consequences for your actions. That's the problem with Hollywood. Y'all never want to put consequences to some of these actions. Elliot Page transition, which means if she was doing any female roles, she's fired. She's gone. Sorry. Not up in this house. We're not playing that. Um, yes, let's get let's get a biological actual female who actually wants to stay a female. Sorry. Sorry you don't like it. But to take a fictional character and warp them to the actor or actress's needs for their sexuality makes absolutely no sense. It's the same thing as when we're taking these, these superheroes and making them LGBT because we need to make a quota and we need diversity and inclusion because the writers think it's cute. It's not cute. It's aggravating. It is annoying. Like, and then it's, it's, think about people who are watching the show who are like, wait, I, re I read the books. I don't understand. Um, Vanya was never this. Who is Victor? You know what I'm saying? So then that might get, that might turn people off because you forced something on a character. Don't say that's not agenda. That was agenda because y'all said that her transitioning does not affect the character, which everybody assumed that that means Elliot Page will still play a woman just with shorter hair. But because now she is a he now, okay, bam, you're off the show. You're off the show. We need to get a woman that looks like Elliot Page and call it a day. But this right here, this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable because I'm tired of these fictional characters that a lot of people grown to love get destroyed or get placed on the, the sacrificial altar to, for some kind of political push or some kind of diversity quota that needs to be met. And then you know what's gonna happen is when they get backlash, which they most likely will get backlash. Guess what they're gonna do? They're gonna blame the fans. Oh, it's because you guys are transphobic and homophobes and blase, blase, and all that kind of stuff. Ain't nobody none of that. You know what I'm saying? Damn, scoot your ass over. Damn, dumbass. Jesus Christ. You know, and of course it's 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 gonna be the fans' fault for not liking the new decisions. You didn't talk to the damn fans. Talk to the fans first. Talk to the people that actually 
like the character and see what they thought. Y'all keep making dumb changes and then you wonder why your ratings drop or why subscriptions drop. You can't keep adding a minority a 3% of the damn population in every damn show or movie or book or video game. 3% of the damn population. And then what's going to happen? It it ain't going to be able to be streamed in other countries because other countries are going to say, hell no, Netflix. So now that you di virtual signaled, yeah, that's great. You virtual signaled. But then these other countries say, hell no, Netflix. And what are you going to do? If there are scenes with her, you might remove you might remove Elliot Page or the show might not get streamed over there. But then you want to continue to throw it in the face in American in American faces when a lot of Americans don't want this shit. That's the thing that I'm talking that, that's the thing that nobody's not understanding. Y'all doing it so frequently to the point it comes off as a parody to where it comes off force to come off where it's not natural. Y'all got to figure out something, but this is not the way because what's going to happen is I bet you that show probably going to get fucking canceled because ain't nobody going to want to tune in. Why would I want to tune into a show that suddenly and change the character I like to enough to, to accommodate the actor personal life? The fuck? Where we do this at? I mean, e enough. Enough is enough is enough of a enough is enough. Look into a mirror, Hollywood. Y'all got th the problem isn't the fans. The problem is y'all. And y'all need to understand. Hear people. Hear the average person. Hear most of your peop most of your audience is conservative most of your audience is straight most of your audience is male especially when it comes to superhero stuff especially when it comes to comic book stuff you got to think about the entire the your your major audience over some virtue signaling profit that's great that you want a virtue signal that's great that you think you need diversity and inclusion but ask yourself is it worth destroying the franchise or is it worth it or is it worth the outrage that it'll get because it'll get outrage it might not get outrage right now and i might be the only one that's talking about it right now but y'all gotta think think one step ahead think further past the whole virtue signaling thing and stop refusing to be stupid. Because that's what you're doing. You're refusing to be stupid. You got to refuse to be stupid if you think that this was a fucking good idea. I'm just being honest. You're turning the audience off every damn week when you do shit like this and you have I don't, no, don't pretend like you haven't you have and then you try to go up on prices and then you try to charge other people's people who um brought the service for their family or friends I wonder why oh right because you give us crap ass shows and put virtual signal in every goddamn thing that turns people off. Keep it up. Keep it up. That's why that's why South Korea and Japan as fucking laughing. Yeah. Yeah. That's why that's why a, a lot of Americans have now gone o across the pond for entertainment that's not America. Why I think a lot of the most talked about shit ain't American? Because of dumb shit like this. Get it to damn together. Elliot Page should be should be removed from the damn show. Get a damn real woman in there. And keep the damn character, Vanya, as a damn girl.
end of conversation. But those are my thoughts. Tell me what you guys think. Comment below. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.